There's no bell. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you down. I understand, I'm not... Yeah, let me know. Well, I gotta explain something to you first, okay? You seem like a nice guy and everything else, but I unlock these handcuffs and you run, you're gonna have a lot more problems than you got now, okay? I'm not gonna go Okay, just as long as we understand each other. Yes, sir. We try to... We try to help everybody out as Yeah, we try to have a good, you know, relationship with people that we arrest, I guess that's what we call it. I mean, the whole thing on that loan is $5,000. So if I had someone come with $5,000, that wouldn't be the end of it. Once you go into warrant, the judge should issue a warrant for your arrest, okay? If you didn't take care of it. Down here at the bottom, now you've got a no bail. All right, so when you go, basically you're probably going to be in there until Monday or Tuesday. So, I'm not trying to raise my... See, it says 5000 What if I give up that 5000 right okay. there? Okay, well, what I'm trying to tell you is... Here it is right here. Of course, going to order a bench warrant uh, for the bail to be forfeited. I understand what blah, blah, right here. For the word, the court is entered a bench warrant, no bail, and to brought to court for a hearing. See, once we get the warrant, that's a judge's order to us. If we so, violate that, we've got problems. Ain't no I divorced her. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, so, there's, a, there's a few of us out there in the past. You want to call somebody or? Yeah, can okay. I call my girlfriend's okay? Yeah, go ahead. Then, um, We'll have one of my partners pull up, pull your truck in, and you know, lock your house. It won't fit. It'll. Yes. Back out. Sitting that rock all weekend. It sucks. Can I smoke a cigarette? Am I allowed to smoke a cigarette? Thanks, up, man. You want to see him? I'm no, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna come by. I'm going to jail. Okay. I'm going to jail. Because of that thing that when I got bailed out and it, the digits and they screwed me, remember? Well, when we went down the thing, well, I'm going to jail. We're here to just rest me. So I need to take care of the house. Anyway, and there's no bell. They said I can't even pay the money to get out. Well, that's what it is. I'll be down there in a, few, in a little while. I'm gonna give the dog some water. And they're here to arrest me. They're right here. They've already arrested me. Actually, they took the off so I could give the dog some water. And they said I can't bail out. Oh, that's what they say. I've been away for a while. <laughs> for the weekend, guys. Good dog. That's pretty simple. Basic. Basic. Uh, you know, surprise arrest, whatever. The guy pulled up in the garage, he passed, we passed right by him. And then, uh, we just started looking around. It's, you know, most of the time, 80% of the time, surprising. So, let me go ahead and put the cuffs back. Hey, Jay, let me know if it's too tight. Is this a no bail right now? Mm-hmm. There you go. Is the fan light on you? That's okay. You'll have to sit right before you. Comfortable. I'll okay. keep going bumpy back here. So. Hey, you're, you're pretty, pretty cool, huh? I'm not going to put the strap on you. Yeah, nothing like that. If you get to kick him, we're going to have to start the don't trust anybody here. No, no, no. It's a safety issue for both you and us. Yeah, I Okay. Go on a bit. How far away is Metro from here? Uh, about two hours. No. Nah. You're probably about 15 minute drive. Okay. 10 to 15 minute drive. Did you get hold of a. Uh, yeah, I called him already. Did you, did you start? Uh, he's not working. He's gonna pay. He's gonna beat me later. Okay. Uh, so we're just gonna book him in a regular way then. Wherever, whatever just, you want to do. All right, just follow me. Okay. All right. I'm behind you. Remember. Okay. Okay. When we got divorced, she filed bankruptcy, and I co-signed. It was for car for her mother, and I co-signed, and she filed bankruptcy, and then in the divorce degree, but they don't care about divorce degrees, you know. I said, the hell with you guys. I'm not paying this it's for her mother, and then they. Some shiny lawyer, whoever did it, obviously knows the judge because he took it, you know, now, like I got arrested on it a month and a half ago, two months ago, 
And I went, and they didn't give me a court date when I left, and I went down to the courthouse. The bell, they didn't notify the bell bond, obviously, because, I mean, I thought you were supposed to. Isn't that, I don't know what the rules are. It's, it's all in the paperwork. It, yeah, but no. see, they didn't even, because the bell bondsman didn't have no court date. He, he still didn't have one. We had to go up to the courthouse, get my file, and get copies and take it to him, because they didn't send him nothing either. Mm. So it's just some lawyer doing his job, I guess. I don't know. Paradise. <laughs> you know, I, I hate to tell you this, you're the first guy that's been back here ever. Really? You hop back there, Larry? Yeah. It's warm. Did the fan help a little bit? It has, but the back side is... Hey. Is it? It's not supposed to be comfortable, I guess. No, uh, no, we've had, we've had it the seat, all right. No, it's supposed to be comfortable as can be. Is he passed out? No, not yet. Is it hot back there? Ron Oliver, what are we going to do with you? I got a war uh, warrant notice here from the court saying that, let's see here, that you missed court on, uh, well, you missed all your municipal courts at the first, but you took care of those. And then you missed on your uh, household finance for the, uh, the July 2nd thing on, yeah, June 3rd. And they wanted either 5000 bucks or your body, and I wasn't paying 5000 bucks. So I talked to my insurance company, and they decided that, uh, you know, send out the letters to your indemnitor, Tamara, and uh, see if she wanted to help you out and get you back into court, and nothing happened. But you did have a court date. Your court date was June 3rd, man. And they sent me a letter saying to pay you 5000 bucks or get you back in jail. Right now, the, right, the judge ordered a no-bail bench warrant for you. So right now, you have no bail until you see the judge. Hopefully, the judge will work with you and either get you a bail or just OR you and let you out. But right now, you're on no bail. You have no bail right now. The judge ordered that. If he sets you up at a $5,000 bail, we'll bail you again, and you don't, you don't need 5000 cash. You know, we'll work it out like we did last time. Well, the main problem was that you missed court, and then didn't, no one contacted us. And uh, Tamara wasn't too happy. She's kind of glad you're back there. So she doesn't have to pay 5000 bucks now. All, all I know is that the, uh, the court sent me the letter saying that you missed court, and, uh, and I talked to my insurance company, and they decided that we, weren't, we had nothing against the $5,000. And all we had was uh, a title to a car. Okay? All right. So basically he was whining that uh, we put him back in jail and he was wondering why. He was just court day, so pretty much the bottom line right there.